Well, happy holidays, everyone. I've still been working on these electrostatic devices over the holidays whenever I could. And the little Wimshurst machine that I built uh, turned out to be a very handy uh, device for getting the uh, high voltage electrostatic that that uh, I wanted to work with. And uh, I started working on these veined electrostatic motors, like what Laser Saber has shown. And uh, this is the Olav Jeffromenko idea was to use a vein instead of a, a brush and this is a brushless system and by spreading out a knife edge onto a rotor you develop torque and uh, a laser sabers motor is beautiful and runs wirelessly so I thought I would uh, try to learn how to build one of these uh, types of motors and I've got this one running um, off of this Wimshurst here and it takes high voltage to make this go. It's not very efficient. It's not very well built. But uh, it was step one in my uh, process to build one of these uh, veined um, brushless electrostatic motors. Let's see if I can get this to go. I have to turn the crank and hold the camera away so the camera doesn't stop with the high voltage. Let's give this a go here. Sometimes it starts. Sometimes it doesn't. There it goes. And like I say, I got to hold the camera away because this high voltage, which has to be, um, I'm thinking 20, 30,000 volts to, to make this go um, on my setup. Now, laser savers, I think, works at a much, much lower voltage, but this little thing I built takes a lot of voltage. And uh, this, like I say, is where I want to go now with these uh, electrostatic devices is a motor that has some sort of torque. It also has to have bearings. Thanks for watching.